Welcome back guys to Hyrule Warriors as completing yet one more of Agatha's quest for a heart piece. We claim it indeed. Agatha's quest seemed to be hard mode. That's the way I'd put it. She doesn't seem to be that easy a character to use. Slow combos, easy to do. I've done enough complaining about her if I think about it on recent episodes. She doesn't seem to be one of the top characters of the game, that's for sure. No, my... May my judgement of only playing her a few times may be completely wrong. But we'll get ourselves the heart piece, which brings her up to like half a heart. We need to get her some more heart containers, that's for sure. For the non-combatant. But for this episode, we of course have our sights set last time on a weapon level 2 for Fi. Now the real question comes as we pick up all the lovely goodies here is if we should do that, or do something that I've been curious about for a very long time. And that, if we back out, will be shown as the rewards map. We have earned one of these, so... We find ourselves an actual extra map here. What's this exactly? Well, we can't do anything here, we can't do anything here, we can't do anything here, we can't do anything here. So basically we're unlocking these areas by the look of it. So we've unlocked this one. Be inspired by the illustration True Partners. Recommended fire restricted to no one. What on earth is this? Right, so it's recommended fire. We could go with Darunia because, well, he is a fire king. Let's put it that way. We could also go with a Naginata. A level 2 that we managed to get hold of. Scorching Naginata. Hmm, I think I'll go with Impa to be honest. Lower level. Any upgrades of level would be better on her than Darunia. So let's try this out quick, depending on if it's quick or not, before we move onwards to see if we can get fire level 2 weapon. Right then, so we've got ourselves a fairly big map to cover, lots of yellow forces it seems. We've got Impa links on my side it seems as my captain, we've got enemy forces, we've got Dart Link big pose. And we have other forces as well, which are, well, the heroes, you could say. So start battle indeed. Select an ally partner. Well, first of all, let's just clear out these enemies near me. And they seem to be a bit more of a higher level than I would have expected, because taking this long to bash down is a bit more unusual nowadays. These guys have some health to them. You say to select an allied partner, but I say, oh, ow, ow, don't get hit me. I say clear out the baddies first of all. And break on through. Right, so we've killed that big foe. We'll get the material there, but look, these guys must be quite high level to be able to withstand that kind of damage. And an outpost captain here, let's just take this. Select an ally partner. Well, who are we actually going for? Do we have to defeat the ally partner to get them as an ally partner? Look at this, they just last forever. This is a bit more unusual for us, that's for sure. Enemies everywhere. I wonder if I'm getting some good experience by battling these guys, to be honest. Right then, let's dodge on through and begin our exploration of everywhere. We can definitely get KOs here, there's not any rewards for us to pick up by taking keeps, but it doesn't seem like the enemy forces actually ever go towards Link in the base either. The keep boss has appeared in the meantime. You never know, maybe we'll get treasure chests for defeating a peep keep boss. Where is my keep boss? Oh, there he is. Right, we defeated him, we captured Central Square, but nothing really seems to have gone on here. This keep is under our control, yes it is, but... I don't know really the point or purpose in it. Scorching Naganar to go! So another 55 KO. Let's choose ourselves a partner, I guess. Now, if I had to guess anywhere, Fire would be up by the Goddess statue, because why not place her there? 
That would be a good place to put her, after all. It seems my special can at least take these guys out in one go, so maybe I should go get Fi? Let's see what's going on, actually. Is it Fi? No, this is Minna, okay. You selected Minna as your ally. Did I now? It seemed like she was being beat up on there. Minna has become your ally. Looks like you're having some trouble. Step aside, I'll untangle this mess for you. It's fine. I've got this as well, you know. Mission success. The warriors you rejected have become your enemies. Oh, that's, that's fun. Defeat the enemy captains who are actually now advancing on me. So this could be a long, hard slog, to be honest, if we've got all of those guys and then Dark Link to take care of. Let's see if we can take this keep first of all. I think they're converging on me. This could be a really hard map, actually. Reward map indeed, it might be, but... This might take the whole episode if we're defeating five enemy captains. Are they on the same team? Please tell me they fight each other as well. Right, we've got the statue keep, that's great. Well, we've got guys heading for our bases, and guys come around the corner. Imp on half HP, randomly. Pretty much the coolest of the intro scenes. <laughs> I like watching them actually. Right then, input. It seems me and Midna versus you, unless it seems like other people are trying to join us at this point in time. So I think we're about to see some more intro cutscenes as well. If Impa wants to attack, she can. It's Impa versus Impa after all over here. Oh, here we go. I don't want it. Debuff. Ow, 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 ow. I can't even get away. Probably because I've been locked up due to Lana appearing. So is this a rewards map because it's good experience or is this a rewards map because the hell I can't even get out the way? Or is this a rewards map because it's kind of well, material farming aspect, I guess, is the other way to look at it. Well, that'll blow them away a little bit. Come on then, Midna. You're my teammate. Impa and Midna go to battle against, well, themselves and extra. Oh, no, I don't want to get near that. I do want a weakness strike, Impa, however. The closest I can take one down, the better for me in the future. Oh, just as I was about to get attacking on Lana. Ah! Alright, use the special to get myself out of this situation. I was hoping it would take care of Impa there. Oh, gold materials as well. Because Lana should be fairly easier to kind of combo. Weakness strikes are not exactly that hard to get on Lana. Impa's a bit more battle hardy, isn't she? Alright then, we leveled up as well. We got ourselves one gold material, we'll get ourselves a weapon on top of that. We got two cap or three captains. We're about to have two intro scenes as we head this way. Fi and Agatha. Insect princess with a question mark. I don't think we've seen Agatha's one before, have we? Well, at least we got some of these HP down or weakness strike level down, but if we can drag them in, seeming I've seen a nice yellow jar there, it would seem that Agatha does not like that ability. 
Agatha went down in no time at all to that. It's only five left. This is where we want you to come out and fight this fight. Use an ability. There we go, an ability being used. Time for us to get in there and weakness strike. Another ability coming. It seems we can only get half of a weakness bar down at any one time there. Right then, Zelda, however, is causing problems. With Fi defeated, we'll move on nicely to face the last one of the forgotten allies. I feel kind of mean now. Truly, as Emperor, I should have selected Zelda. First and foremost, well, it seems that Link and Zelda are about to do battle. We got raid captains as well, which is probably why Zelda pushed forward so much, but it seems their HP is being lowered in general because, well, we have forces to fight them too. Well, if this is a good place for me to farm player materials and get myself some experience, a little bit of grinding might not go amiss here, off camera. Right then, Zelda, just me and you. Where's Minna got to lately? Seems she's been caught far back on the scene. So we'll cut away at Zelda's HP bit by bit. We know that she's doing something here. In fact, it might be best for me to just special it down to get an easy weakness strike. Not only is it a ton of HP defeated, but comboing into that is always a good idea. That's the easiest way to get the HP gone in quick time. Sorry Zelda, I take your materials and then I run. Alright then, that's all the captains defeated. Defeat the enemy commander is now our next mission. The gates of the enemy base have opened. Do I even need to get there fast? Is there another treasure for me to get if I look around a bit more as well as one way of looking at it? The reason I say that is because there is a lightning elemental fairy just waiting for us, if you know what I mean. If anything, Imp is probably going to get two levels from this in the end. So keep boss defeated. We can push forward yet again. In fact, to be honest, none of these enemies are really, really pushing our guys any direction specifically. So as long as we take out the few along the way, we'll be fine. I thought that was weird appearing then. But still, we'll keep on moving. Maybe we'll find out what is in the goddess's temple. Because that interests me, which means we're going to have to take two more keeps before we fight the end boss. Well, there's still quite a bit taken on the keep there for, like, no bother at all. Breaking as much of them down as I can. Well, this move. If I take out the big guy with this one, the keep boss will appear. And with the explosions that we can cause, we'll take ourselves a base. Alright then, so. Well, this fairy claimed, he says, fairy acquired. Walking past it is not a good idea after all. We rescued the fairy of lightning. Defeat two more big guys. And take an outpost as well. That should help protect that main camp. 
Or at least we'd hope so. We got things we want to do. Hurry up, blow up. Alright then, let's head over here. We got some kind of big Poe attacking one of our outposts. But to be honest, I don't think anyone's going to really cause us much trouble. Bring forth the special and cut them down fast. Oh, there's a big Poe behind me. Hello, uh, nice to see you. I could take you down without too much of a hassle. And considering you're a big monster, if I'm right in saying, for defeating you, we'll probably end up getting a level. Oh, just about. We've got close, but not close enough. I'll look at you as my level giver then. Indeed we shall. So let us open up this one, eh? What's so special about this place that it's got a barrier? Even the main keep doesn't have a barrier, so... The question comes as to what doing this can get me. Big combos with a Naginata scorching away. Fire flying all around. Right, keep boss. Is there a treasure chest hidden here? I've defeated a thousand enemies indeed, that's for sure, but still. Right then, it seems to me that while I may be able to take this keep, there's nothing actually here for doing it, so. What was the point in that? We've captured the fairy fountain, sure, but that doesn't really give us too much. Midner, are you okay going for all this? It should help break our enemy's spirit, you say, but to be honest, defeating the boss itself would be the best way to do it indeed. Dark Link has no introduction. We've fought enough Dark Links after all. I was waiting for him to get into a special move. Because that also allows me to cut down a lot of the enemy from this keep. Dark Link shouldn't be any problem for us. Unless there's something else bad to happen on this map. Well, that wasn't exactly that good for us, but all the same, we get ourselves the combo. And to be honest, with potions on as well, if there's no yellow jars in this base, which there are, so fortunately, we can pick them up keep doing that crazy combo, especially when Link finally attacks. We could have just used our potion to restore ourselves a bit of special power and kept doing it. To be honest, he's down with one more. Dark Link proves not a problem. We get ourselves yet another material, the map is cleared, it looks like there's no extra treasure. So if I had to say anything, this reward map is built for experience a little bit in grinding because the monsters take so long to kill, they give a little bit better experience values. And apart from that, materials from at least, well, depending on who you choose. You can choose an ally and get the other five materials it seems. So that's not a bad map at all. If the other reward maps work in that fashion, which we're close to unlocking another one, I was intending to wait for doing another reward map before, and we can actually get a rank status on it as well. I wasn't actually working for rank, but whoa, okay. Scorching Naginata gets an ability with 25,000 kills on it. Apart from that, we get a Goddess Sword with 25,000 kills on it, and a Silver Scale with Hearts Plus on it. Is this how we unlock our special weapons? Because the Master Sword has one with 25,000 on it as well. So that brings a lot of interesting questions. A lot of interesting questions indeed. Well, we'll keep this Goddess Sword in, that's for sure. What one should we get rid of? One without much in the way of stats on it. Because we need to work on our level... Two weapon, Impa's breastplate we got gold, Zelda's brooch, Link's boots, didn't really get all the materials, but the weapons we got were in crazy Euclid rewards map, the Zord tunic has been added to Link's costumes. 
So we got ourselves a fair few rewards. It seems we can A rank or B rank that or whatever. So next time I do it, I'll probably go for an A rank. But still, it seems that we can claim ourselves many, many handy items. So maybe it was good that I went there. Maybe it was good indeed. Apart from that, however, we still have a few items that we haven't picked up along the way on other things. Of course, A rank victories that will probably appear as other character stuff sooner or later. But we also have another search here. So with compass in hand, we find ourselves something suspicious, of course. Fire on the bush? We'll unlock ourselves something new. So, we get ourselves a hot piece for Lana for an A-rank victory, so let's do that quickly to end the episode. And so, with an easy mission done, with a powerful character, and that's kind of what makes it easy. Nice comboing Lana there. Well, I'm trying to unlock an ability on one of her weapons with a 3,000 kill unlock. We get ourselves a piece of heart. You've got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces to increase your maximum hearts by one. So, two pieces of heart gain this episode, and the reward map completed. Looking good, looking good. Next episode, we will, of course, move on to what we intended to. Fire's weapon, let's get her level 2 one, and be able to build up her power as a whole. Join me next time, more higher warriors, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.